came here? Over here, right here. There's the lions, there's eight man bodies on the floor. Yeah, lions. Over here. Nine nah, bodies. So what they done? Look, they closed that bit off there. They, 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 look, they're hiding stuff. Here. They're hiding stuff. You know why? I've got a friend who works for the fire brigade here in Labour Grove, yeah? Yesterday on the phone, he said they found about 42 bodies in one room, all hiding together. No one knows yeah. that. It's only because yeah. we know the brother, he's a fireman, yeah, fireman. That, he, that he told us this. But he can't tell you, yeah, yeah. he can't tell you, he yeah, can't, can't come out and tell you lot that. So I'm saying he can't come out because yeah. you'll probably get the sack or something. Yeah. But they said they found 42 bodies in one room, room bro. In one room, from children to old people. Do you understand? But they're not going to tell you that. Look, I'll tell you this straight, yeah? There's about, there's about 42 families that we know that live in there that have gone so imagine the rest and these are because we know them because they're moroccan yeah we know them yeah because they're moroccan yeah. like us that's why we know them you they know come they come to youth center. yeah they come to the, the kids come to the youth center and yeah. the families come to the mosques and that, that's why we know but they're not letting you they're not telling you all that they're not telling you the truth they're not telling you the but truth. you know what they said and that's the, that's the worst thing about it not having the they truth said, everyone there no one no one died by getting burned everyone died first because of the smoke Inhaling the smoke. We've got one of our uh, 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 family, the girl, she, they bring her out, they took her to, ho to the hospital. She's in a coma, yeah, because of the smoke. One of them, they started uh, blood coming out from her nose. Yeah, blood coming out from her nose. If you, don't want, if you don't want the real story, you have to go to the people that live here and know people. And we were here in the beginning. Yeah. You've got, go the the you got to go to the people that were coming out of the mosque and running up the building and the police stopping them from going up the building. And yet they still went up there and got people out. You understand? There was disabled people. There's disabled people on, on the high, on the highest floors. You need to know when they like live here. When we brought that guy, the disabled guy, when we brought the disabled guy, what's called? It was him, his wife, and his three kids. He came out. He came out. He was called disabled. He said, "I don't know how I made it from the other floor." He came out. We took him to the rugby club. After that, they put him in a hotel. Put him in a hotel. We went to see him in the hotel. He said they've given us no food, no water, no clothes, no time, nothing for two days until we went there and we gave him. Do you want to hear something? Do you want to hear something charity. else funny? You know the water on the top floor stopped working. There was no water on the top floor. You yeah. know, you know that because why? Everyone's trying to open water to wet up the towels. Wet up the towels. Because yeah. everyone's doing it. There was no water coming to the top. Yeah. So people had no water at the top. You open the taps and there was no water coming out. Everyone was saying it. You got look. For you to get the proper and the real stories, you must go to the people that live here. Do you understand? And know people Not that... Not the BBC and Sky, no, Yeah, forget lying. that. They're, they're lying. lying. Honest to God, I swear they're lying. Because I've been watching it on the news. Who's there in the beginning? Do you understand? And what they're saying on the news and what you're seeing down here... Two different things. Two different stories. Right. Two different things. It's two different stories. You've got to go to the people that live here or have their families and loved ones that have been lost in there. Do you understand? They're the people that are going to tell you the truth, because the rest ain't going to tell you the truth. They don't even know what's going on half of the people. Don't get me wrong, let's come for their condolences and all that. We appreciate that. But you've got to speak to the people who've lost family in there, and friends, and loved ones. You know what I mean? That's the people you've got to speak to. Look, private ambulance, you know what that means, isn't it? Look, there's a private, you know what that, that's, that's a coroner, you know what that is. That's the coroner's ambulance. Do you understand? They're not telling you how many people really And what they said, now what's going to be left? There's only bones. It's going to be what it's going to take a long time to investigate what's going to do the person and stuff like that. Yeah, identify. And they're telling me for two pounds, for two pounds extra, which would have cost five thousand pounds all in total for the new cla for, for, for fire resistant cladding for the whole building, just an extra five thousand pounds. And you know, to put a sprinkler system in, it would have cost two hundred grand. They gave him ten million to do that. So, and they only spent eight eight million or something like that. So where's the two million go? Someone's pocket. Like we I know said, what the world's like, building. If, building in, if this building here was in Chelsea or Knightsbridge, it it's a different happened. situation. If happened. this same building here was in Canary Wolf, I'm happened. sure, and you lot know, because poor people live they could have went out like that. They wouldn't put the cladding. Poor people was good in the Canary Wolf like that. Definitely not Canary Wolf, not Chelsea, not Knightsbridge. I see a picture over there of a helicopter. Yeah, honest to God, a helicopter. It's not. He said it's not here in this city. There's a helicopter with water coming out of it. Why wasn't it used here? Why wasn't it used here? We're London, bro. This is London, you know. And got helicopters with water coming down. You got you got a fireman and he's spraying, he's spraying, and it's not even reaching half of it. Nothing. It was, it was reaching a nothing. It was, it was a joke. It was, it was a joke. Nothing. If you would have seen it, yeah. you, you would have been. It's got to be more than this. You need more than this. You We're in the UK, equipment. man. We're in the UK. Come on, man. And in London, bro. And in the richest borough in the UK. In now, Europe, they, oh, they said Europe. This is the richest. Let borough me tell in you Europe. about something about this borough. This borough here, if you're broke, if you ain't got enough money, this is what they do to you. Like what they've done to us. They ship you out to Barking and Dagenham and outside Ilford and them places there. You understand? That's what they do. At the moment, this is my borough, but I don't even live in this borough because they ship me out. Yeah, they're getting all the poor people out of here. That's what they do, bro. That's what they do. Because we can't pay. We we need the subsidies to pay for the rent. 
Do you understand? We need government subsidies to pay for the rent because that we're them type of people in it. They said that building was an eyesore. My whole life I lived here, bruv. It wasn't an eyesore to me. I never saw it as an eyesore. We played here football all my life in the West Way and that. That was no eyesore. They made it look nice for the rich people when they drive past. It don't have to be a sore in the eye, you understand? And that's not fair. And another 